guys, Sava, this is Lazyboard, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Outriders Legendary Armor Set for the Trickster. And by far, this is definitely one of the coolest ones we've seen so far in the Outriders uh, pretty much Legendary Breakdown. We're also going to be breaking down the mods. We're going to be breaking down what the armor set actually does. And we're going to be breaking down, of course, its bonuses. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, a drop like would be really appreciated. But let's go and find out what this awesome legendary armor is able to do. Now, before we do, I do want to remind you guys about our January giveaway. We're giving away one free copy of any game that you want for 2021 for any system of your choice to enter and participate. It's super duper easy. All you got to do is click the pinned comment and be a subscriber to the channel. And that's it. You guys are automatically entered. So good luck to everybody who's participating. The winner will be announced on the first week of February. Let's go ahead and dive in. As you guys may already be seeing here on the channel, we've been breaking down a couple of legendary armors for each individual class. We already checked out the Pyromancers, the Devastators. So if you haven't checked those out, I highly recommend you guys check it out. Links are in the annotations and in the description down below. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at one of the coolest ones, which is called the Chrono Suit Mask. Uh, not mask, but Chrono Suit Suit. And we're gonna be taking a look at what actually makes the suit powerful, what benefit it gets, what is one of the most craziest mods we've seen so far as far as Legendary Armor are concerned, and all that good stuff. So with that, be, with that being said, let's jump into the video and talk about exactly what the Chrono Suit has to offer. So if you are new to the whole Outriders, I'm going to give you guys a complete breakdown of the armor set. I'm going to go really quick on this one because I know a lot of you guys have been watching my other Legendary Armor videos and should already know what's going on. So first and foremost, guys, we have... The first thing that's really important in the suit, which is the item level and the armor. This is extremely important because this is going to determine how much you're going to be able to outperform or do in what type of world tier. So this is level 17. You theoretically could go all the way to like level 19 world tier. I mean, not level 19 world tier, but enemies higher than you at level 19 uh, on your world tier. And you should have a good amount of armor. Now, remember, the armor is going to drop based on what item level this is. Item levels are able to go all the way up to 45. So do keep that in mind the next things you want to make sure you pay close attention to of course is the three things on the right hand side these are going to be pretty much what's going to make the gear or the um i would say the complete suit very helpful for you guys because it's going to give you a couple bonuses to very important stats which we'll break down right now and then last but not least guys it's exactly what we're able to get from the actual suit itself what is it that we're getting once we have all three pieces remember there's a total of five pieces that come in legendary armor and in order for you guys to get the best out of the legendary armor, you want to make sure you at least collect a total of three. And once you collect a total of three, that's going to give you the ability of the Chrono Suit, which is reverting time replenishes ammo to your clip. So let's say you're running an assault rifle, you have 65 rounds in the mag, and uh, you know you go in there, you waste a total of 60. When you revert back to time, it's going to give you that 65 back into your uh, into your magazine, kind of almost giving you infinite ammo. So let's talk about what we're able to do with this armor set and why it's so OP. The reason why this armor is so OP is because of the Chrono Suit Mask. Because the Chrono Suit Mask actually drops with one of the coolest mods currently right now in the game for the Trickster. And that is the Aggressive Teleportation. Which is going to be taking a big, uh, a big portion of Borrowed Time. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Borrowed Time is a skill within the game especially for the trickster that's going to allow you to teleport and it's going to allow you to place a uh, kind of like a clone of yourself in one area. You're going to be able to teleport across the battlefield, shoot people while you're in this borrowed time. And when that time ends, you're going to be pulled back to where your clone was placed or you're able to actually revert it back yourself. Now, what makes this even crazier is this particular mod, which is called aggressive teleportation, which I'll break down once we get a look at the mod. So let's take a look at the Chrono Suit Mask and what it actually does. So we have a bonus firepower. It gives us 85% more bonus firepower. Close range damage, 8%. Healing received, 8%. So as you guys see right here, a lot of synergy when it comes to close, close range battle and also being able to get our health back in the uh, at the same time. Now let's take a look at what we have as far as the Legendary Upper Armor. Now for the Legendary Upper Armor, we're getting once again bonus firepower, 85%. Uh, close range damage 8.6 uh, 8.66% and healing received 8%. Once again, really important. Remember, there's a total of five different pieces for this legendary armor. And as we're seeing right now, it's a lot of synergy when it comes to close range damage and health. Next, we have lower uh the legendary lower armor, which is pretty much the boots. 
bonus firepower of 99 so that's getting a little bit of increment from the 88 that we had close range damage eight percent and eight percent so once again we're getting health back and we're also doing uh, close range damage and last but not least guys we have the chrono food uh, gear which is giving us a max health of 100 close range damage 8.66 and then cooldown reduction of 4.33 so this is the only armor piece that we're not getting heal received we're actually getting a cooldown reduction for this particular uh boots so it's, that's the only difference that we have so far as far as the uh the suit itself either that everything is synergizing with close range and health now the gloves i'm assuming is are also going to synergize with health and also close range damage this being the only armor or the only piece that's going to give us cooldown reduction of 4.33 percent now with that being said let's dive in take a look at these mods and see why this particular armor is so powerful and so op with this aggressive teleportation all right so here we are taking a look at the mask now this is the one the mod that actually makes this thing really really crazy now remember when you guys got a legendary armor the the legendary armor is going to drop with a like a armor specific mod so the armor specific mod is this one called aggressive teleportation borrowed time reverting time creates an explosion around you that inflicts 345 damage to all the enemies in range for eight meters basically what this is going to do is when you activate borrowed time you're going to go ahead and place your clone you're going to go in the battlefield but when you revert that time or so when you say i want to go back to my clone or when it expires it's going to create an explosion that's going to damage the enemies in them which is actually pretty crazy because not only are you being able to teleport back but you're also able to do damage when you're doing that effect in addition to that you're also going to be able to be replenishing your ammo when you're reverting that time so it gives you kind of like a double whammy this particular uh, set also comes with a strong twist now remember from these mods you're able to swap another mod here so this is not like a locked on mod but this is just a trickster mod uh, which is going to called strong twist while the skill is active it increases your weapon firepower by an additional 15 percent not a bad one but we do want to make sure we have level threes as we get towards the end game next up guys we're going to be taking a look at the legendary uh, uh, upper armor and that's going to be uh getting a mod called death shell now it's going to take advantage of borrowed time well once again borrowed time killing enemies while borrowed time is active reduces incoming weapon damage by 10 percent and uh, anomaly damage by 10 percent for 10 seconds so it's going to basically reduce any damage that you're taking either from weapons or you're taking from skills which is actually pretty cool in addition to that it's going to buff uh, buff is removed at the end of the skill stacks up to four times so really cool so basically anytime you kill someone you're going to be able to uh, reduce incoming weapon damage by 10 percent and your skill damage by 10 percent really cool and really effective it comes with another mod called additional mag once again twist around the skill is effective for two magazines before triggering the cooldown so that once again a level one mod which can easily be swapped next up guys we have this one right here which is called ammo uh, bargain which is going to take advantage of twister rounds and that's where we see a lot of play with twister rounds this is a level three one uh while the skill is active killing uh killing shots replenish 20 percent of your ammo for in, uh, in your magazine so once again as you guys see here this armor set looks to be synergizing with three with three primary objectives number one is health number two is close quarter combat giving you extra damage and number three ammo refill then we have uh, armor of yons which is borrowed time activating the skill increases your armor by 100 percent for 10 seconds that's actually pretty good and for being a level one mod that's actually pretty spicy that's not these guys we have the shoes which is going to take advantage of shield of the fallen which is twisted rounds when your skill ends add 15 percent of your maximum health as shield for each enemy killed by the skill so this is when the twisted rounds or so or in other words when you teleport and come back when it's over it's going to give you additional shield for every enemy you killed while being in the uh, in a status effect of twisted uh, of twisted round. So actually pretty, pretty cool. Then we have the fuse uh, sprint increase your uh, sprint increases your armor by three thousand seven hundred seven hundred and forty three and resistance by 50 percent. Really, really crazy. Now, that's a level two mod. I mean, some of these mods for being level one and level two, they're actually pretty dope. Uh, but overall in general guys those are the main mods we have for the armor set when it comes to uh, outriders and the tricksters and his legendary armor really crazy really op but if you guys haven't checked out the devastator pyromancer legendary armor definitely check it out and i want to know from you guys out of the three we've seen so far which one's your favorite remember we still got one more which is our boy the technomancer 
and that's going to be live tomorrow so make sure you stop by hang out to the channel subscribe so you guys won't miss when that video goes live thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next video